Allow me to illustrate a point. Tripods suck. Today we're going to be solving that problem by making a giant selfie stick. So what I'm building today is basically just a carbon copy of Alexander Chappelle's design. If you don't know who that is, go check him out. He's, a, he's an excellent craftsman. What I'm doing today is Alexander Chappelle's design for a camera arm with two axes of movement. He built his using a ridiculous amount of 3D printed parts. I'm going to try and build the same thing, but using bent sheet metal parts. So, looking at it here, we have our Z gantry that moves up and down. We have our X gantry back and forth. Our camera will be mounted here. There will be a counterweight system going over the top with a weight on the other side encased in a piece of ABS. You can see here all the bends that I gotta make. So this whole piece rides along some one and a half inch square tube. To achieve that we have four fixed bearings on the front and the bearings on the back will be adjustable. So we got a lot of plasma cutting to do. Is it too early to turn on the compressor? Nah, I think we'll be fine. We sure gave the plasma cutter a hot supper. Now here we are, all the parts are cut out. A couple anomalies. I don't want to cut a new part for this, but I probably should. We'll see how I feel later. These two pieces are gonna be the main gantry. And it, there's so many random little bends on these things, I don't think I can explain it. I think you just gotta see it. And there's a few tips we can go over to loosen the metal up before making all these bends. First, lay out a mat. Maybe light a couple candles. Lay your piece on the mat. And then take a deep breath in. And. So I made a little bit of a mistake on this part and bent this part the wrong way. And when I bent it into the spot where it's supposed to be, it snapped. But this works for me. I'll just use this opportunity to cover up my ugly welds on this side. Eh? So before I weld it in place, I'm gonna weld these nuts in place. And this is gonna be the mounting point for the X axis. Job done. Still too hot for me to manipulate. But you, can, you can see what's going on here. So this is going to be the Z-axis. Tube will go in there just like so. So now we got to bend a whole other one of these off camera. All righty, I got my two. What do you call them? Gantries. Got these guys bent. This one I did off camera. The only difference between the two is this guy's got a couple little mounting holes folded up this way. In the end, these are gonna mount together like so. 
So these are the plates that are gonna hold the two pieces of one and a half inch square tube at an equal distance. We got these two center punches to mark our bend and these center punches are for mounting holes. Would you look at that? All right, so that is all the parts bent for this piece, minus the end caps. But I figure I'm just gonna bend these in place once the tubes are put together. So now we're going to focus on these gantries, getting these bearing mounts put in place. Two hours later. Ta-da! So we just have this tacked in place and I'm already seeing a couple problemas. These adjustable guys, this is the best spring I could find that would fit. And it does not have enough tension to hold it up. So I think I have to have just nothing but fixed bearings which should be fine but it means that I have to build the z-axis first and then I'll stick my bearings on accordingly so I got my two rails set up checking with a square all the way along they're pretty dead nuts we have these spacer blocks that I bent earlier ready and these are just gonna lay right in there and I'll weld them in place I have a much less elegant solution than planned for the bearings. It seems the spacing is pretty dang close on these bearings if I just weld the nut in place. So we'll get this side and then we'll see what we need to do about the spacing on the other side and that's how we're going to make this thing work. Look at that. Definitely a less elegant solution than what we had before, but if it works, it works. Am I right? <laughs> but now I think would be a good time for me to get the base put together, get the casters on the base, just so I can have a place to put this thing. It's time for fun tips and tricks you probably already knew. So, we're gonna be splitting this circle into thirds so we can have a tripod effect with the casters. First, you gotta find the center point of the circle. Then you wanna scribe the center line on the circle. Next, you wanna find the center point between the center of the circle and the outside edge. Then, scribe a line at 90 degrees from that point and draw it all the way out to the end of the circle. And then you draw a line from your outside points of this line to the center of the circle. And now you got one third, two third, three third. Bam. We have a circular skateboard. <laughs> Now, I've got all these pieces ready to be bent for end caps, but I've just been welding everything, so I'm just gonna cut these and weld them on. What's the point of being able to take the end cap off if you can't take anything else off, right? So the first cap will be the top cap, and it's getting these little ribs on there, and a pulley on either end. So the next couple caps are just a regular end cap, done. And then this one where the camera will mount, which just has to be manhandled. Something's not measured right or not square. Screw it, it's a place to put my weld. 
I actually went ahead and bent the tabs over on this one and I'm kind of wishing I did it on all of them. It is pretty nice. piece of paracord over the pulleys for the counterweight system and weigh the thing it's about 30, 32 pounds I have my resident math expert do some mathing and found that I just need this piece cut at 17 and 7 eighths and I did that very poorly I'd tell you how I cut this but you'll just laugh at me So I clamped this guy up at the top. Now I'm gonna tie the weight on and this will be the, the maiden voyage. So the weight is a little heavier than the gantry. I didn't think my tiny little camera would make a difference, but it's working. Huh, for some reason when the camera's all the way out there, it's perfect when it's in, it is far from it. I'm gonna remove a little bit of material. So I figured, why remove material when I can just add material to the other side? And I found this piece of angle iron is perfect. So I got an idea. Ah! By the way, I swapped out the paracord for some braided wire. I just had a bad vision of that, a spark going in the wrong place and this thing coming crashing down. Would you look at that. Now it's all perfectly balanced now. I had to add a little block on the front along with this to make up for the weight. But we're, we're good to go, man. Last thing we gotta do is we gotta encase this dangler here so it's not just a wrecking ball running through the shop can't find three and a half inch pipe in town so it's just going to be in a piece of four inch but that means i gotta rework the brackets on the back so i need something to cushion the blow of the weight coming down and i have a great idea it's like nothing ever happened In order to make the mounts bigger, I just cut out some rings that are a friction fit on there and I'm just going to weld them in place and the bottom will be held on with this toilet flange. We did it, man. Let's, let's get you off this stupid tripod and get you onto your nice new home. Look at that. Bring it all the way down. All the way up. Just like that. Won't be needing that anymore. Let's take a tour all the nice shots I can get with this. Yeah, I could not previously get this shot, so maybe thanks to this thing, you'll be seeing a whole lot more of my ugly face. Got a bird's eye view of the workbench here. It was easy to get to this shot. And I don't even gotta push the zoom button. Look at that. <laughs> I may actually be able to get some nice shots of the lathe now. Look at that. Oh, look at this. My framing's off. Big whoop. <laughs> well, I'm pretty happy with this whole build. I want to thank Alexander Chappelle for allowing me to do this. This is going to hopefully change my YouTube game.
So if you made it this far, maybe consider subscribing, maybe leave a little liker, and thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>